ओके हेलो एवरीबडी नेक्स्ट पॉइंट अपन आता बन आप्टिक्स मतलब रे ऑप्टिक्स एंड जॉमेट्रिक ऑप्टिक्स बहुत आता रे ऑप्टिक्स मे का पर्टिक्युलर डिरेक्शन ऑफ प्रॉपोगेशन ऑफ एनर्ज रे ऑफ लाइट का होता एक पर्टिक्युलर डिरेक्शन आता द रेस कमिंग फ्रॉम द सन दे आर पेनेटेटिंग इन अ पर्टिक्युलर डिरेक्शन दे आर ट्रैवलिंग इन अ पर्टिक्युलर डिरेक्शन could not just travel it passes its energy so particular direction of propagation of energy from a source of light for example suppose sun is the source of light which passes the energy so particular direction of propagation of energy from the source of light is called ray of light second wave optics or physical optics wave optics in this phenomenon we have to discuss about first of all that is wave optics or geometrical optics in which we have already discussed about what reflection or refraction total internal reflection in wave optics or physical optics here we have to discuss about double refraction double reflection okay polarization because they in this the waves are electromagnetic nature third one is the particle nature of light in particle nature of light here we have to study about the photoelectric effect compton effect uh so polarization so this shows particle nature of so here next point we have detailed study about the ray optics or geometrical optics geometrical optics so next point is that ray optics or geometrical optics ray optics or geometrical optics ray optics इमेजिकलिजमेंट्रिकलिजमेंट्रिकलिजमेंट्रिकलिजमेंट्रिकलिजमेंट्रिकलिजमेंट्रिकलिजमेंट्रिकलिजमेंट्रिकलिजमें
this apply under the boundary between two media. The refracted ray lies in the plane formed by incident ray and the normal drawn at the point of incidence. And the two rays are either side of the normal. Angle of incidence and angle of refraction are related by Snell's law. So these are the fundamental properties or laws on which geometrical laws are based on. Now we discussed about the first point that is light always travels in a straight line. Light pressure form of the in a straight line. Second question about the law point. Two or more light rays can intersect with each other without affecting their paths and they are moved. The two or more light rays can intersect, can intersect without affecting the paths. Third diamond level. Which one is third or point of the? Laws of reflection. What the camera does the laws of reflection. But the laws of reflection are the laws of reflection. The incident ray and reflected ray are lying in the same plane. Laws of reflection are the same plane. A kind of plane surface is plane mirror as it and it is a normal upper consider 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 it is a reflected ray the incident ray reflected ray and normal lie in same plane this is the laws of reflection the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection this is also laws of reflection Fourth point is that laws of refraction. Next to the of the point I to here, laws of refraction. So what is the laws of refraction? Laws of refraction in which this is the first media, this is second media. This is first media. This is second media. It is air media. This is denser medium. So incident ray travels in a first medium after passing through second medium it changes its direction. This is called the refraction of light. So here the incident ray and a refracted ray and normal lie in the same plane. The incident ray and refracted ray lie opposite to the normal. And here the refract index of first with respect to second is equal to constant. That is refract index of the upon here one gap, mu one gap. So mu is equal to sine theta upon and you can just now refract index sine i upon sine r is equal to this is the laws of refraction. So these are the fundamental four laws which is important to study the geometrical optics. Here next that example. Okay, next example. Next example. The example of the thickness of a glass of a spectacle is 2 mm and refract index of its glass is 1.5. Calculate time taken by light to cross this thickness 
express your answer with most convenient prefix attached to the unit second okay ka example ahe baka ito he example sagle ne lihun gya kay dilela ahe te kay dile baka thickness of the glass of a spectacle is 2 mm and refractive index of its glass is 1.5 थिकनेस दिले 2 एम एम रिफ्रैक्ट इंडेक्स दिला 1.5 पॉइंट फाइव विचार लेकिन कैलक्युलेट टाइम टेकन बाय लाइट टू क्रॉस दिस थिकनेस तर ती थिकनेस क्रॉस करना लाइट ला कि वे लगे एक्सप्रेस टू आंसर विथ मोस्ट कन्विनियंट प्रिफेक्स अटैच टू द युनिट सेकेंड थोड़क सेकेंड मधे अपने एक्सप्रेस करा संग ठीक है ब थिकनेस ऑफ दस ग्लास ऑफ स्पेक्टेकल जो स्पेक्टेकल है तो स्पेक्टेकल जी ग्लास है तो ग्लास की थिकनेस दिल टू एम एम रिफ्रैक्ट इंडेक्स दिल्ली वन पॉइंट फाइव सो कैलक्युलेट द टाइम टेकन बाय द लाइट टू क्रॉस दिस थिकनेस एंड एक्सप्रेस द एंसर विथ मोस्ट कॉन्फिडेंट प्रिफेक्ट अटैच टू द यूनिट सेकेंड ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्पीड ऑफ लाइट इन वैक्यूम इज दैट First of all, write down the speed of light in vacuum. Speed of light in vacuum. That is c is equal to c is equal to. Okay, brother. जस्ट टू मिनिट Just two minutes. टू एम एम सो हियर First of all, we have to determine the speed of light in glass. Okay, so speed of light in glass. Speed 
block lighting plus so is equal to c upon speed of lighting equals so speed of lighting plus c upon mu so what is value of c 3 into 10 to the 8 meter per second speed of lighting plus that is 1.5 so 1.5 to the 3 so 2 into 10 to the 8 meter per second so speed of lighting glass that is 2 into 10 to the meter per second so next distance to be traveled by lighting glass is 2 mm distance to be traveled by distance to be traveled by light by light distance to be traveled by light in the glass distance to be traveled by light in the glass that is s is equal to that is 2 mm so 2 into 10 plus 2 minus 3 meter millimeter so therefore time required by light to travel this there is no time required time required by light by light to travel this travel this so time required by light to travel this so t is equal to distance upon its particular velocity in glass so distance 3 into 10 raised to minus 3 upon the velocity in glass kya hai hoga 2 into 10 raised to 8 so 2 to cancel 10 raised to minus 3 minus 8 so time is equal to 10 raised to minus 11 so it's minus 3 this 8 8 goes to upper side minus 3 minus 8 minus 8 plus 3 11 so minus 11 second t is equal to minus 10 goes to minus 11 second so most convenient in nature to express this small time is nano to minus 3 this is 2 into 10 to 8 this 10 to 8 goes to upper side that is minus 3 minus 8 minus 11 so t is equal to minus 11 second so this can be written as this is equal to upper t is equal to 1 into 10 to minus 11 second so most community you need to express this small time is nano so ya apan kasha madhe vyakti karu shakto nano second madhe but here answer is that 10 to to minus 3 minus 8 that is minus 11 so 10 to to minus 11 second see the what are the given the conditions is that is Thickness of the glass of the spectacle is 2 mm and refract index of glass is 1.5. Calculate the time taken by light to cross this thickness. So express your answer with most current prefix attached to the second. So here speed of light is in vacuum 3 into 10 to straight meter per second. Speed of light is 3 into 10 to straight meter per second. Refract index of glass 1.5. Speed of light in glass C upon. Speed of light is the card upon distance uh, speed upon light in glass. So it is speed of light in air medium upon its refractive index.
Spilophytic air media for producing peptides. That is a spilophytic plus. So 3 into 10 to state upon 1.5, that is 2 into 10 to state meter per second. This is a speed of light in glass. So the distance to be travelled by light in glass is 3 mm. So 2 into 10 to minus 3 meter. Time required by light to travel is T is equal to distance upon its velocity. So distance 2 into 10 to minus 3, velocity is 2 into 10 to minus 8. So this minus uh, plus 8 goes to upper side, that is minus 8. That is t is equal to 10 to minus 11 second. The same, also open example 9.1. So, that's the same type exercise. Madhi pao, ahita. Ito to tumala, homework sati sang pae pao. एग्जाम्पल अपने पॉइंट पेज नंबर 186 वर्ती आए मात्र यहाँ टाइप से एग्जाम्पल अपने लिए तो नहीं है इतना दिल्ली ला है ठीक है अतः यह नंतर से अपने जो फुर्सत पॉइंट आए तो आए कार्टेशन साइन कन्वेंशन तो अपन पाए से कार्टेशियन साइन कन्वेंशन मधे फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल डायग्राम इम्पोर्टेंट आते Partition science convention. So while using geometrical optics, it is necessary to use some sign convention. Okay. So while using geometrical optics, it is necessary to use some sign convention. The relation between only the numerical values, the relation between only the numerical values of U, V, and F for a spherical mirror or for a lens will be different for different positions of the object and the type of mirror. Hence, U and V are the distances of object and image respectively from the optical center and F is the focal length. Properly used suitable sign conventions enables us to use same formula for all different particular cases. So here while deriving a formula and also while using the formula it is necessary to use some sign conventions most convenient sign convention is Cartesian Cartesian sign convention okay. so here most convenient sign convention is Cartesian sign convention and uh, it is analogous to coordinate geometry okay. the according to this sign convention kai kai points first point ahead All distances are measured from the optical center or pole. All distances are measured. All distances are measured from 
हे सगळे डिस्टन्स कुठून मेजर करायचे फ्रॉम द ऑप्टिकल सेंटर ऑफ पोल फ्रॉम द ऑप्टिकल सेंटर फ्रॉम द ऑप्टिकल सेंटर ऑन पोल ऑल डिस्टन्सेस आर मेजर फ्रॉम ऑप्टिकल सेंटर ऑफ पोल सो फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द ऑप्टिकल ऑब्जेक्ट्स सच एज स्पेरिकल मिरर्स असतील थीन लेन्सेस असतील the optical centers coincides with their geometrical centers okay. so for most of the optical objects such as spherical mirrors thin lenses the optical centers coincides with their geometrical centers okay. spherical mirror asel ani thin lenses jar asel tar tyachyamadhe tyacha asnara optical center ani geometrical center exact ekmekala kay zalele astat coincide zalele ऑल डिस्टन्सेस कुठून मोजायचे फ्रॉम द ऑप्टिकल सेंटर ऑफ पोल म्हणजे इकडचं डिस्टन्स असेल किंवा इकडचं डिस्टन्स असेल कुठून मोजणार आपण या पोल पासून त्याला ऑप्टिकल सेंटर असं म्हणतो फिगर शुड बी ड्रॉन इन सच वे दॅट द इन्सिडेंट रेस ट्रॅव्हल फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राईट फिगर कायम अशा प्रकारे ड्रॉ करायची की इन्सिडेंट रेस जी आहे ती कायम लेफ्ट करून कुठून मूव्ह झाले पाहिजे राईट करून figure should be drawn in such way that figure should be drawn in such way that figure should be drawn in such way that the incident rays travel from the incident rays travel from the incident rays travel from left to right the incident rays as it travel right left to go right kid a diverging beam of light corresponding to rays of light coming from real point objects a converging beam corresponding to rays of light directed to virtual point objects or image at parallel beam correspond to an object at infinity thus a real object should be shown to the left of a pole the real object real object should be shown to the left of the pole and virtual object or image right of the pole a diverging beam of light diverging beam of light diverging म्हणजे जसे की तुमचे तुमच्याकडे बॅटरी असते टॉर्च असतो किंवा गाडीचा असणारा हेडलाईट असेल तो काय असतो डायवर्जिंग बीम ओके सो डायवर्जिंग बीम ऑफ लाईट हे रॅन टर्म करायचं आहे करस्पॉन्स टू रेज ऑफ लाईट करस्पॉन्स टू रेज ऑफ लाईट diverging beam of light corresponds to rays of light coming from real point of sight coming from real point of sight so ekcha madhe ja kai diverging beam of light asti corresponds to rays of light ya kuthun yet astat tar real point of sight pasun ते कन्वर्जिंग मीन कन्वर्जिंग म्हणजे जसं की तुम्ही एका काडीपिटीचा गुल पेटवता लेन्समधून की कॉन्वेक्स लेन्स अशा पद्धतीनं फोकस करता की तो गुल का होतो पेटतो सो एक कॉन्वर्जिंग बीम करस्पॉन्स कॉन्वर्जिंग बीम करस्पॉन्स रेज ऑफ लाईट रेज ऑफ लाईट कन्वर्जिंग बीम करस्पॉन्स टू रेज ऑफ लाईट डिरेक्टेड टू अ व्हर्च्युअल पॉइंट ऑफ सेट डिरेक्टेड टू व्हर्च्युअल पॉइंट ऑफ सेट सो युअर कॉन्वर्जिंग बीम करस्पॉन्स टू रेज ऑफ लाईट डिरेक्टेड टू व्हर्च्युअल पॉइंट ऑफ सेट और इमेज image 
Here the converging view corresponds to rays of light that is to virtual point object of image. That you can direct the level stuff. And a parallel beam corresponds to an object at infinity. And parallel is called at infinity. Parallel rays are corresponds to an object. Parallel beam corresponds parallel beam corresponds to an object at infinity. Corresponds to object at infinity. तो मात्रा वो कश्यप पसंद आने लगा सिला अपना समझ तो ये निफ़िड़ पसंद है। तो सर रियल ऑब्जेक्ट शुड बी शोन तू द लेफ्ट ऑफ़ पोल अतिशय मतलब सो आपके एंड वर्चुअल ऑब्जेक्ट और इमेज शुड बी राइट ऑफ़ पोल। ओके सो द सर रियल ऑब्जेक्ट शुड बी द रियल ऑब्जेक्ट शुड बी अतः रियल ऑब्जेक्ट कोटा सर to the left of pole and virtual object or image to the right of pole and virtual object or image to right of pole so it's very important his sentence I second 